Good afternoon. Yeah, in dealing with the uh, adoption of uh, channel security, that seem to come up. There's two major verses that always come up to attack it, um, and uh, one attacks it in the Church Age, another one attacks it in the Old Testament. First one that attacks it in the, in the uh, New Testament is the one taken out of context, which is Matthew 24, 13, and Mark 13, 13. It's repeated, and uh, where it says, "Enduring unto the end, uh, don't want to be saved." People take that word savior to uh, refer to eternal salvation, which it does not. It's referring to getting it, surviving to get into the millennium. And uh, it's referring not to church age believers, but to uh, uh, tribulational uh, individual, people in tribulation who, uh, uh, who, are, who are believers and uh, uh, are trying to get into the, uh, the millennium surviving. The uh, second one is uh, also dealing with uh, uh, the tribulation. And, uh, and attacks uh, eternal security in the Old Testament. And uh, that goes in Reve Revelation 14. And uh, taking the mark, the mark, excuse me, the mark of the beast. And you see uh, Revelation 14, 17, uh, 14, 12, excuse me. Revelation 14, 12, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Uh, now, as soon as people see the commandments of God, a lot of people jump up and say it's Mosaic law. And they make the assumption that you will lose your salvation. Uh, you don't keep the Mosaic law. Well, no one kept the Mosaic law uh, perfectly. Uh, it's impossible to keep the Mosaic law. Now, the whole point of the Mosaic law was to show that you couldn't keep it. You needed, you needed grace. And um, so the Mosaic law was a way to live. And uh, was not a way to be saved or be kept saved. So it's a false view that people were saved or kept saved by the Mosaic law. Uh, the... Um, and also the issue of keeping the commandments of God, you see that repeated again in 1 Corinthians 17, uh, where Paul talks about from church age and uh, dealing with uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and 19. Um, circumcision is nothing, and on circumcision is nothing, but the keeping of the commandments of God. Now, what are the commandments of God? The Lord made it very clear the commandments of God are all hinged on two major commandments in uh, Matthew uh, 22, 37 to 40. It is loving God and then loving thy neighbor. That was keeping the commandments of God and that was the, uh, the essence really what the Mosaic law was to uh, uh, teach the Jew how to do that and uh, to live by it. But people who are taking these verses uh, out of context and ignoring, as we saw in John chapter 10, the way of uh, Eternal security in the Old Testament was different than the way of uh, eternal security in the New Testament, but it was still there. Uh, God is not going to lose anybody that He saved, that, uh, that that has believed in Him, and uh, He has no intention of losing that person. Just like the sheep, where it says that one one goes astray, that the shepherd goes off and looks for him and leaves the other ninety-nine. Uh, he says, "Well, well, what if I take him the mark? Could, he, could a believer take the mark in in uh, in the tribulation period?" No, God won't let him take the mark. Uh, and uh, so that's that. The, the assumption is that, that a believer could take the mark. But again, that's an false assumption starting with the premise that you could lose your salvation. Uh, but if you look at John chapter 10, which is clear scripture talking about uh, Old Testament, how they were saved, they were kept in uh, the Father's hand. God would not allow a believer to take a mark in the, in the tribulation period. He'll simply uh, stop him from doing so. Uh, and if that means kill him, he'll kill him and take him home road. Because you're not going to lose anybody. So many of these views of tax on eternal security come from uh, resting the scriptures, misunderstanding the scriptures, and rationalizing. It's, a, uh, it's starting with the premise and then then uh, making the other scriptures fit into that uh, false view instead of letting the scriptures speak for themselves. So I hope some of these uh, this, this, uh, these videos would uh, help some of the uh, younger believers who might be confused by some of the uh, more uh, famous uh, ministers teaching uh, that one can lose their salvation either in the church, church age, or in the Old Testament. Amen. Thank you.